So let's talk about TFR. Obviously, the F-111 is famous for that. Um, did you fly it often, and how did you feel about the, the system? Yeah, it's uh, well in the in the course we we after we did our instrument rating, we went into the day day TFR and sort of attack phase of, of the course where we flew around using and learning how to use the train following radar. Um, it's a pretty automated system, so basically once you've done all the checks and you plug it in, say you start from fifteen thousand feet, turn the auto TF switch on, and it pitches down to uh, about. 10 degrees, no, 8 degrees nose down, and it descends down, down about 10,000 feet a minute mm. until it hits 5,000 feet where the radar altimeter locked on, and then it pitched down a bit more to, to about 10, 10 degrees nose down. It was doing 12,000 feet a minute rate of descent mm. and until it started, um, started the level off uh, phase to whatever set clearance. Now, when I got there because of... Unfortunately, some uh, ac an accident not that long before I joined. They'd raised it to a thousand feet initially, so we let we generally we levelled off at a thousand feet initially, and then we stepped it down to four hundred feet was our standard training at that point, just to give us a bit more time if something went wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, there were times though we went down to the full capability of two hundred feet in hard right. Oh, that must have been quite terrifying. Was there a sit so? Were you literally hands off, or were you, did you have your hand near the stick? You just had your hand on the stick, and because there's a there's a paddle switch that um, you know I've seen it recently on Top Gun and the Hornet, where the paddle switch I oh, guess that's yeah. the G uh, override on the on the Hornet, but that was it. That was our disconnect the TFRs from the flight controls. So if something went wrong, you could just just paddle and you could pull up. Was was it a reliable was, system though? Yeah, pretty pretty reliable. You know, you just kept an eye on it. You, with the pilot, we had our had our radar scope, which uh, only looked you could only see a, a few miles ahead, and most of the screen was taken up in the last one mile. So as things wanted to pull up, that was about in 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 the, the midpoint of the uh, radar screen. But the navs would be looking on the attack radar, and they'd be talking to us. And telling us if there was uh, nothing beyond 10 miles meant that they had a radar shadow beyond 10 miles and they would count that in and so once they got to about nothing beyond one that's where we want to see a response to pull up over over whatever was in front of us mm -hmm. um out of all my years there was only a couple of times where i had a feeling something something wasn't right so um and in those occasions it's a matter of you know, acting first and asking questions later because you know they were, they were IMC or night. I can think of a couple of times, and it was just literally get on that paddle, switch wings level, and pull up. And, you know, or G yeah. back up, get to altitude, and sort it out afterwards. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the cockpit. It's very unique for a fighter side by side. Um, how did you feel about that? Did it was it a benefit for the F one eleven and the mission it was designed for? Yeah, it's it's got pros and cons. Um, you know the pros is as a crew it helps you work as a team you know quite closely you can see what you know how busy your, your you know your nav is or vice versa um you you can see if they're actually doing things that you expect them to do at <laughs> certain times mm -hmm. um conversely they're in the way both of us you know for lookout so lookout's a big thing in the fast jet oh yeah fast jet world and you know i could see reasonably a fair way back on my left side but in my right there's someone sitting right there so <laughs> you do have to rely on them um looking out and unfortunately with you know using the radar and and pay tack sometimes you know their heads down looking at things and they can't always look look out and mm -hmm. keep an eye out for the, all the bad guys trying to trying to find you and they love trying to find us <laughs> <laughs> i can imagine yeah